so i am hoping that you all understood the concept of radio propagation we are narrowing down the explanation to the shortest extent and to make it understandable and not boring 8 to 10 minute of lectures are sufficient so if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section or you can even mail us or contact us on our website so in this lecture we will learn about the transmitters receivers and antennas which make the propagation possible we will learn how transmission occurs what are the components of the transmitter then how the receiver receives the signal and the components of the receiver and finally i shall conclude this lecture with the antenna and its type so let us get started radio transmitters and receivers are electronic devices that manipulate electricity resulting in transmission of useful information through the atmosphere or space a transmitter produces radio waves with the antenna the transmitter itself generates a radio frequency alternating current which is applied to the antenna when excited by this alternating current the antenna radiates radio waves the purpose of most transmitters is radio communication for information over a long distances the information is provided to the transmitter in the form of an electronic signal such as an audio signal from the microphone a video signal from a video camera or in wireless networking devices a digital signal from the computer the transmitter combines the information signal to be carried with the radio frequency signal which generates the radio waves this is called the carrier signal This process is called modulation as discussed in the first lecture. The basic transmitter consists of a power supply, input signal and oscillator circuit to generate the radio frequency signal, a modulator circuit to add the information to be transmitted to the carrier wave produced by the oscillator and an amplifier circuit to increase the power of the signal and hence the range of the signal and the antenna with an impedance matching circuit. the alternating circuit produces the alternating current carrier wave frequency this is then combined with the amplification circuit to enhance the power of the signal the distance a carrier wave can travel is directly related to the amplification of the signal sent to the antenna so the modulator circuit modifies the carrier wave with the processed information signal then finally transmit with multiple channels containing a tuning circuit that enables the user to select the frequency on which to broadcast Similarly a receiver is needed to isolate the desired carrier wave with the information it separates the information signal from the carrier wave sent by the transmitter a receiver consists of a radio frequency amplifier mixer local oscillator intermediate frequency amplifier demodulator and audio frequency amplifier the radio receiver is connected to an antenna which converts some sort of energy from the incoming radio wave into tiny radio frequency ac voltage which is supplied to the receiver's input practically radio receivers perform three basic functions on the signal from the antenna filtering demodulation and amplification an oscillator is used to compare and select the desired frequency out of all the frequencies received by the antenna This local oscillator produces a different frequency from the radio frequency which is mixed with the received signal by the mixer. So we obtained four different frequencies: radio frequency, local oscillator frequency, some of these two frequencies and the difference between these two frequencies. Now here is a catch. The sum and the difference of the frequencies contain the information signal. In VHF frequencies it is 10.8 megahertz known as intermediate frequency this is then amplified and sent to the demodulator where it is separated from the carrier wave now there are two different types of receivers tuned radio frequency receivers and super heterodyne receivers the former is simple logical receiver which we have studied till now it is used as the fixed frequency receiver application two radio frequency amplifiers are employed tuning together to select and amplify the incoming frequency they only broadcast between 535 kilohertz to to 1640 kilohertz frequencies and are unstable and and insufficient for higher frequencies 
so to overcome these issues the next type of super heterodyne receivers was introduced in super heterodyne receivers the incoming radio frequency signal from the antenna is mixed with an unmodulated signal generated by the local oscillator in the receiver the mixing is done in a non linear circuit called the mixer the result at the output of the mixer is a heterodyne or beat frequency at the difference between these two frequencies this lower frequency is called the intermediate frequency passes through the filter and amplifier stages and then is demodulated in the detector recovering the original modulation the receiver is easy to tune a constant frequency difference is maintained between the local oscillator and the radio frequency circuit through ganged tuning that is connected and operated in unison by one control knob also the automatic gain control serves the purpose to maintain a suitable signal amplitude at its output so i hope that you have understood how transmitters and receivers work now we shall move forward to antenna but before that do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel the antenna is a type of conductor that is used to transmit and receive radio frequency waves they convert a high frequency current to electromagnetic waves and vice versa three characteristics are of major concern when selecting the antenna length polarization and directivity the length of the antenna is half the length of the wavelength of the frequency antennas are polarized because they radiate and receive in certain patterns and directions a horizontally polarized antenna is mounted side to side and they radiate in a donut like fields whereas the vertically polarized antenna is mounted up and down and they radiate in all directions therefore antennas that are omnidirectional radiate a stronger signal in the same directions as compared to other antenna this property is known as antenna signal directivity that is receiving antennas with the same polarity as transmitting antennas generate a stronger signal now there are two categories of antenna resonant and non resonant antennas resonant antennas are those for which a sharp peak in the radiated power is interpreted by the antenna at a certain frequency to form a standing wave the radiation pattern of the wire radiator in free space depends on its length and it has a very narrow bandwidth whereas non resonant antennas are used as terminated transmission lines they do not produce standing waves only forward traveling waves will exist and they are unidirectional the standing waves exist in resonant antennas caused by the presence of both reflected traveling waves and forward traveling waves now i'll conclude this lecture by discussing the types of antennas used in aviation the most common three types of antennas used are dipole antenna marconi antenna and loop antenna in a dipole antenna the length of the conductor is equal to the half the wavelength of its transmission frequency the alternating transmission current is fed at the center and as the current alternates current flow is greatest in the middle and decreases at the end they are horizontally polarized for example a v shaped vhf antenna or vor antenna a marconi antenna is a 1/4 wave antenna which achieves the efficiency of half wave by using the mounting surface of the conducted aircraft skin to create the second 1/4 wavelength they are vertically polarized create a field in one direction last but not the least in the loop antenna when the length of the conductor is formed into a loop its characteristics are altered from straight half wavelength antenna this become highly direction sensitive and and the broadcast causes equal current flow in both the sides of the loop whereas the polarity is opposite to each other so i hope that you understood the theoretical concepts of transmitter receivers and antenna if you have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section or contact us through the email given in the description hit the like button if you find the video informative share it with your friends and colleagues